welcome back again to a session on one day a question the development of maxilla the key points for this will be you have to discuss about the head development especially the timeline the mesenchymal prominences the development of medial and nasal process descent and movement of the process the concept of premaxilla primary palate secondary palate the importance of the descent of tongue, fusion of processes, the mechanism involved, the clinical relevance and or significance of non-fusions leading to the clefts of maxilla, all with the diagram. So, the first brachial arch and the other brachial arches, especially these diagrams, has to be clearly mentioned. You can see the student has drawn about the frontonasal process, the persistence of the oropharyngeal membrane the initial pericardium, how the maxillary processes, mandibular process moves, how maxillary process moves here in this stage, the oropharyngeal membrane disintegrates. This is a storyline that you need to create. The stomatidium, how the maxillary process begins to move, how the lens placate later moves, all you have to mention. The initial impact is with this diagram. The developmentally, the face develops from five process. The frontonasal process to maxillary process to mandibular process. The maxillary process by itself arises from the mandibular process and together this is called as the mandibular arch of which this maxillary process gives rise to the maxillaria which starts about the seventh week of intrauterine life. It develops from the mesenchymal maxillary process of the first arch. Okay. Uh, so development of maxilla can be broadly divided into intramembranous ossification and the endochondral ossification. The intramembranous ossification via is via the center of ossification, whereas the endochondral ossification is via the secondary cartilage. To go about in detail, the intramembranous ossification, there is no specific arch cartilage involvement in the development of maxilla. But the center of ossification is in close proximity or association with the cartilage of nasal capules capsule. The center of ossification appears to originate from an angle where infraorbital nerve branches off from the anterior superior alveolar nerve. From this, the ossification spreads in four directions, superiorly towards the frontal process, inferiorly towards the palatal process, anteriorly towards the future incisor region, what the concept of premaxilla is, posteriorly towards the zygomatic process. Together, they form a bony trough to lodge the infraorbital nerve, which downwards extends to form the lateral alveolar process of the maxillary tooth gems. At this junction of palatal process, the body of maxilla is contributed by the medial alveolar process that subsequently develops and joins it counterpart of the other side to form or complete the trough of bone around the developing maxillary tooth gems and eventually covered by the bone. The other part, the endochondral ossification part, this via the secondary cartilage, which contributes to the development of maxilla. Here, the cartilage is the zygomatic or malar cartilage that appears in the developing zygomatic process for a short time and contributes in a minimum way to the development of maxilla. At around birth, the frontal process is well distinguished while other processes are less distinguished. That is the reason why the baby's upper jaw is not so prominent. The body of the maxilla is not well developed at this point of time because the sinuses are not well developed and though the sinuses start to develop by the 16th week as a small cellar grew in the nasal aspect of maxilla but still at the birth maxilla is still rudimentary clinical significance agenesis absence of maxillary sinus aplasia altered development of maxillary hypoplasia less development of maxillary sinus and the clefts is the non-descent. Here you have to descent, discuss about the downward and sideward movement of the maxillary process. This is more important. How the maxillary process initially is formed by the upper movement, then downward movement, the descent of the tongue facilitating the movement or fusion of the both the maxillary process along the midline, the failure of which will highlight the formation of cleft. So that brings an end to the discussion on the uh, development of maxilla.